Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the seventh tutorial in the series of tutorials on Arduino and in this tutorial we're going to learn about the hex keypad. So this hex keypad has got 16 buttons. So this is how the internal structure looks like. It has got four rows and four columns and by the combination of any row and column the corresponding pressed key is identified. So let's say if the key 5 is pressed then we will be having a signal on the R2 and C2 which will be connected to the board. So I have already made the connections as you can see it has got uh, 8 pins over here and I have connected it to there. So I have a script opened up here which is called key print hex keypad. So in the first line I have included a library called keypad. And in the third line and fourth line, I have defined a simple byte uh, called rows equals to 4 and columns equals to 4, which is a constant value. This means that my hex keypad has 4 rows and 4 columns. Now I will create a character array. So this is a two dimensional array as I have rows and columns in it. So the first row, first column is equals to 1, first row, second column is equals to 2 and so on so forth. All the values are the same as this keyboard has. So I have defined the character here. Then I'll define the row pins that my row pins are connected to 12, 11, 10 and 9 and the column pins are connected to 8, 7, 4 and 3. Now this is a simple function for using the keypad. So we have to write keypad and the name of our key keypad I have uh, written here custom keypad because I have made it by myself here. Okay, So the keypad function is keypad uh, make key map the hex keys which I have defined here this array, this multi-dimensional array to row pins and column pins rows comma column so this will connect the keypad in the right way that I want it to connect uh, this is a predefined function so you just have to pass the values that are provided okay let's see what have we have in the setup so in the setup I have begun the serial monitor so in the loop function I am doing here now to get which key is pressed I have a very uh, sorry I have a function here which is uh, I will name dot get key so get key is a function and as we are using this object custom keypad so I'll write it this way so by this I'll get the key which is pressed. If I press 1 I'll get 1. If I press 2 I'll get 2 and if I press D I get D. Then I have serially printed a string key. Then the key which is pressed on the board will be printed. Then a space will be given little bit of. Then the state. Okay so we have three states in this which is 0, 1 and 2. So 0 means the button pressed was released and 1 means the button is pressed once and 2 means the button has been put on hold or we can say it is, is pressed for a long time or a button on the keyboard is currently pressed. So let's quickly upload this code. Okay my board is connected. Okay I'll upload the code then. So I have uploaded the code, I'll just wait over here, okay, my code is compiling and my code is uploaded, I'll see the serial monitor here, okay, in the serial monitor I can see the key and the state, okay, the key, so there is no key pressed till now, so key is nothing and state is zero because my hand has been removed from it or I have not touched the board. Okay, let's see what happens if I press this one. Okay, so I will 
press it multiple times so that you can see the key is one and when the key is pressed the state is one which means the key is pressed and if I press it for a long time then the state is two which means the key is in the hold position so I'll just press another keys this is one this is two this is three like this this is a and so on we can do we can press another piece also so that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it and enjoyed watching it you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in the next tutorial